another vlog today's vlog is a little bit different today's we're going to be sculpting and what i've been wanting to make for a while is a scene from haunted mansion so it's not going to be exact it's just going to be themed around it if you know what i mean so this is the start so this is the front of a drawer of my neighbor and then this is a column but what i've done with this i've prepped this before so we've got four skewers in the wood with a bit of balsa wood around it and inside is full of tin foil just to give it a bit of um firmness so if it is pressed it won't just go and then on top just put some random bits of wood but that doesn't matter because it's all going to get covered all this masking tape will come off and i've been looking in this haunted mansion book just for a few ideas and what have you. If you haven't got this book already, you should. It's great. Um, on the back it says twenty two ninety nine. That's US dollars. But I'm sure you can get it on Amazon and that. But it is amazing. We actually got this from the Haunted Mansion shop. As well as half of the shop in there actually. So we've got that. I will be using Sculpey. And I've been using all different tools but you'll see that. Yeah, so don't just do things easy by any means. Um, I'm going to use this Spanish moss. Um, I got this in Florida when we were there. So when I go to Florida, I always buy stuff you can't get over here. Um, I've got bits of gravel and stuff. But I picked this up in, I think it was Hobby Lobby. And it was an offer because, you know, the grave digger that's holding the lamp. Well, I wanted it to light up. So... I bought this years ago and I do believe that this could come in handy so yeah so that will light up hopefully we'll be holding it right and yeah we'll just see how we go let's hope we do it well and if you're new to the channel please um, subscribe as it helps the channel grow and it's free it costs you nothing but helps us and yeah, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that. We do answer comments. It might not be straight away, but we do it as fast as we can. And yeah, so enjoy. Okay, so what I start to do is when I prepare my base, I have applied a bacon bond, Sculpey bacon bond on the base. I've then run some Sculpey through my pasta machine. Uh, I think the thickness was about medium, something like that. And then apply this to the board, and as you can see, and then just trim in as I go. Once you've applied your Sculpey, you then need to keep trimming it to make sure it fits the board because sometimes it can go over. And if you notice, I also put pegs in the hole, these are like little bamboo skewers, uh, just to put in the holes, just to make sure I don't put Sculpey over them, because these need to hold the wire frames for the figures. So just make sure you do not fill the holes in. And once I've done this and applied all the Sculpey to the base, I then start scoring out cobbles. Now when I score them out, I also make sure that there's no extra uh, sculpey that's popped up. If it does, just press it back down again with your finger. You just need a nice smooth finish for your cobbles.
once you've done all your cobbles what I then do is I roll up a piece of tin foil and then I just press it over the cobbles just to give it a stone effect just to make it a bit uneven and a bit more realistic so when you put your black wash on your black wash will um, hold in like the little dimples on the, the cobbles next I then just apply some more bacon bond to what's going to be the column that's going to hold the haunted mansion plaque and I just repeat the process what I did on the ground just apply sculpey and then draw your little brickwork into there and then put do the tin foil again over this just to give it a bit more effect and make it make it a bit more realistic then now i have a go at making a haunted mansion plaque this bit i was dreading because i know how good the plaques are but i was actually quite surprised i just took it step by step started off with the oval bit in the middle then i added a ring of sculpey around the edge pressing it down with the tool and then just slowly just decorating it putting the skull on and then putting like the little devil thing on the top it isn't perfect, but hey, it'll do me. Okay, so this is it after day one. I'm about to put it in the oven. 
this is where I used a bit of foam oil just because I didn't want to use on my sculpey because I'm getting low these are where the figures are going to be I've done all the cobbles it's taken me quite some time and I've done a little haunted mansion plaque don't know if you can see it properly but there we go day one so day two of the model build and today we're going to attempt to do the figures I'm hoping I've got enough sculpey if not I'll have to resort to FIMO um, and I was thinking last night I'm actually going to have to cook the lantern in his hand so hopefully it won't you know go wrong and then I'm also going to build a little battery pack hide so hopefully you won't see it but yeah apart from that not too shabby let's just see how we get on today and also what I have done with this model which I've never done before with a model is I've actually just tried to do like a little sketch just so I can remember what I'm actually doing and hopefully it won't be exact to the one from the Haunted Mansion ride don't want it to be but it will do. So now I'm going to make the armature for the figures. This is made up of wire, tin foil, and masking tape. Now you need to decide what height you want your figures. The um, the wire goes as high as the shoulders. That's what I do. So you're making like an N shape, if you will. And then you roll up your tin foil and you pad the wire out with the tin foil and then wrap masking tape around that. And usually before I put the tin foil body in, I attach the arms using a bit more wire, but this I forgot, so I actually threaded wire through to tie the arms on. Schoolboy, but hey, it works, you can do with it, it doesn't matter if you leave it till last. So I put a layer of um, school pit over the figure and then bake that, not fully, just a little bit just to give it a bit more firmness so when I work on it it's just easier and more firm. And here you can see I started making the shoes and I apply the shoelaces but in the end you don't really see the shoelaces because the trousers go quite far over the shoes. I then roll out more school paint just in the thinnest setting I can to make the clothes. I do the clothes bit by bit, so I'll do like the legs of the pants, then I'll do the waist, then I'll do the top, then the jacket, so on and so on. Just do it how you want it. I'm sure you'll um, you'll figure it out. And the good thing about school paint is when you rubbing the joints of your sculpey it does blend really really well with the super sculpey
Now making the head was quite hard. Um, I did put another bamboo skewer in the top of the figure. This is to hold the head. Uh, the head did take a while. I'm not used to working on such a large scale, so it did take me quite a while, but I did get there. It isn't perfect, but it works, and that's the main thing. That's all you want. And this is your figure, so just, yeah, just go with the flow. Now I apply the scarf and making sure it has some wrinkles in it because I did not want the scarf to be smooth because wrinkles make it just pop out a bit more. then add some hair and then I make him a hat. The hat I put the, the cap bit on first and then I add the peak on last but just to make it a bit more different I then add a tiny little rim that goes all the way around the hat. I did this just because I wasn't happy with the join at the top. Now making the dog I made the armature of the dog first this is the first dog I've ever sculpted and I was quite pleased with it. The armature was a bit tricky, so it did take time to do that, but I'm glad I did it because the dog being so thin, I needed that strength there. And yeah, it worked. I did wrap some thinner wire around the main wire. This is just so the sculpey can adhere to the wire a lot better and it has some grip. I did put um, a thin coat of Sculpey on the dog, like I said. Um, this is just so I could add more detail to the dog without fear of it um, moving or, you know, just ruining really. So, yeah. Okay, so I've made the skeleton for the dog. Um, took a while, but hey, it's worth it. And as you can, as you saw, I wrapped wire around the main wire. That's just it, so the sculpey can hold on to it a bit better. At the minute, it looks like a bald rat, but we'll uh, we'll work on it. And I did this first, baked it, and then I've just got a base to work off, so it's a lot easier to work with. Okay. Bab.
then after I'd done the fur on the dog, I then added his paws on last, putting a bit of bacon bond under each paw. Okay, so we're going to leave it here, it's all done, it took me forever to do the dog and then on the back, well as you can see I've built a little wall and that is to hide the battery pack for when the lantern is on, so I'm not going to mess with it anymore in my eyes, it's done, so I'm going to go and bake it and then paint it, so it might take a while to paint but Okay, be worth it. So it's out of the oven and what I need to check now is if his battery still works so because I had to cook um the figure with the wiring as the wire's going through his arm. So just need to make sure it's still working. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, it's still working. If I turn that out. Goolay. Okay, so the bake is done. As you know, because the light still works, which is great. So now it's just a case of painting. This may take a while. With the grave digger I wanted him to have a hint of haunted mansion on him so I've done his jumper purple and his scarf green and that is because those colors are in the haunted mansion so I just wanted to bring a bit of the haunted mansion out and onto the grave digger but you could this you know your sculpture you're making you decide do what you want you don't have to stick to certain colors certain makes just go wild now to the painting all I did was just painted it how I thought was best and then on the cobbles after I painted them grey let them dry and then I just put a black wash on just to add a bit more detail into it
so I finished painting him I love the way the dogs turned out that's turned out really really well but what I'm going to do now is apply some stuff some of this this is off um, a tree when you know when uh, it molts do trees molt and this is what we use for like tiny little leaves with the dolls have stuff but I thought because it's haunted mansion scary woods and all that this should look good on the base so I'm going to stick it down with some PVA glue because that is really good for this sort of work very messy but very worth it So here is the finished product. I will show you in the morning what it's like because I've still got some glue setting in places. But so far so good. I'll put his little light on and I'll show you what it's like. So there is his little light lit up. How cute does he look? Love it. I'm impressed. Job done, many, many hours of work has gone into that. So this is the final um, finished product of the sculpt. I'm very impressed with it, the way it went. Sorry, my backing is wobbly. My uh, <laughs> I've got bats holding the sheet up. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments like share and subscribe all that goodness and take care bye